And happening now is National FFA Week. Chapters around the country celebrate it every year. We have State President Courtney Audy, and we have set, uh, State Centennial Madison Carnes with us this morning. I hope I said your title right. <laughs> State okay. <laughs> All right. I, I felt like I was wrong. So for those who don't know, FFA is Future Farmers of America. How did you two get involved in it? Yeah, so growing up, I actually was fully convinced that FFA was the adult version of 4-H because I grew up on my grandparents' farm, so it was kind of a no-brainer. But then in eighth grade, my advisor pulled me in for what we call the creed contest. So with that, a student memorizes the FFA creed and presents it to a panel of judges. And as soon as I walked out of the room, she looked at me and she's like, Courtney, I'm keeping you. And I never looked back, and here I am with Madison and four of our other teammates, and we live in Trafalgar at our leadership center. Wow. Okay, so Madison, do you have a similar story? So mine's a little different. I did not grow up with an agricultural background, so FFA to me was honestly a way for me to hang out with my friends at first. Okay. And then um, after I got involved, I did all of these different contests and got super roped into everything, and it just kept spiraling from there. Wow. So what does the week hold for us, for those who don't know? Yeah, so as state officers, we'll be traveling the entire state of Indiana. So we've actually broken it up into 12 different districts. So I'll be taking districts 1 and 4. And Madison, what districts will you be in? I have 7 and 10. So we're covering the, like, north west side of Indiana and the southwest side. So with that we'll be traveling a, a little over a thousand miles individually to visit different chapters. I know Madison after this is going bowling with a chapter. I went Ooh. to Sky Zone yesterday to kind of jump into FFA week literally. Right. So we'll be doing all kinds of different things and facilitating and teaching kids about agriculture. Wow so it's a week long of it. Yes. What's going to be happening every day? So it's a little bit different every day. Um, I know Tuesday we have some things going on in the Senate and the House okay. for FFA. And then also on Wednesday we have Advocacy Day where a bunch of our members come down to the State House and talk to legislators about agricultural issues that we need awareness on. Is there like a favorite part of FFA week that you guys enjoy or, or maybe other people do? I know personally I definitely enjoy Advocacy Day. That's kind of been my favorite thing to go to every year just because I am interested in a political background. So kind of going out there, learning more about agricultural issues that I didn't know about before, and having the chance to advocate and educate our legislators is super important to me. What about wow. you, Madison? I know for me, getting to see all those members, we have almost 12,000 mm -hmm. members in our organization and being able to get out there, talk to them, and meet new people, see people who have the same similar passions as I do is so encouraging. Is there a way that people can get involved? I mean, some people may look at it and like, oh, I don't know anything about agriculture. Like, how, how can I be a part? How can I learn more? I know on a local level, a lot of chapters are doing community breakfasts, lunches, different community events. Um, checking out what your local chapter and high school is doing is one of a great way to get involved. What about? Wow. Yeah, so we actually have different themes for every day of FFA week. And on Thursday, it's Give FFA Day. So with that, you can go to National FFA and donate to Indiana FFA through their link, or you could go directly to the Indiana FFA website and give there. Wow. Thank you so much, Courtney Madison. Two smart young ladies to talk about FFA Week.